Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm about to do a funeral service for Don Holt, the former chairman of Church and Also Twistle Cricket Club. I know that his funeral service is about to start at Accrington Crematorium. I don't know whether Don was a believer in, in God. I don't know whether he went to church. But myself as an ordained priest felt I should do, even though I could not even be at the cricket club for when the cortege was, was going there, that I should in some way remember Don. Because I spent about ten seasons being first team scorer there before I moved on else to live elsewhere and also had umpired many third eleven matches and junior cricket matches. So I will now do this service according to the Book of Common Prayer, 1662 version. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, yea, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall not die forever. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that I shall rise out of the earth in the last day, and shall be covered again with my skin, and shall see God in my flesh. Yea, and I myself shall behold, not with other, but with these same eyes. We brought nothing into this world, neither may we carry anything out of this world. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, even as it pleaseth the Lord, and so cometh things to, to pass. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He flieth as it were a shadow never continueth in one stay. In the midst of life, being death, of whom may we seek for succor? But of thee, O Lord, which for our sins justly art moved. Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Saviour, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut up by thy merciful eyes to our prayers, but spare us, Lord, most holy. O God, most mighty, O holy and merciful Saviour, Thou most worthy Judge eternal, suffer us not at the last hour for any pains of death to fall from Thee. 
I commend thy soul, Don Holt, to God the Father Almighty and thy body. Yes, I know it's not a burial, but I still commit your ashes to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, ensure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be like to his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Even so saith the Spirit, that they rest from their labours. Let us pray. We commend into thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father, the soul of our this our brother departed, and his body we commit to the earth, even though it is cremation and it was his ashes. Beseech in thine infinite goodness to give us grace to live in thy fear and love, and to die in thy favour, that when the judgment shall come, which thou hast committed to thy well-beloved Son, both this our brother and we may be found acceptable in thy sight, and receive that blessing which thy well-beloved Son shall then pronounce to all that love and fear thee, saying, Come ye, blessed children of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you before the beginning of the world. Grant this merciful Father for the honour of Jesus Christ, only Saviour, Mediator and Advocate. Amen. Almighty God, we give thee hearty thanks for this thy servant whom thou hast delivered from the miseries of this wretched world, from the body of death and all temptation, and, as we trust, has brought his soul, which he committed into thy holy hands, into sure consolation and rest. Grant, we beseech thee, that at the day of judgment his soul and all the souls of thy elect departed out of this life may with us and we with them fully receive thy promises and be made perfect together through the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And then follows a number of psalms. I am well pleased that the Lord have heard the voice of my prayer, that he has inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The snares of death have compassed me round about, and the pains of hell Get hold upon me. I shall find trouble and heaviness, and I shall call upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, yea, our God, merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple, as I was in misery, and he helped me. Turn again, then unto thy rest. O my soul, for the Lord hath rewarded thee. And why? Thou hast delivered my soul from death, 
thine eyes from, from tears and my feet from falling. I believed, and therefore will I speak, but I was troubled. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What reward shall I give unto the Lord? All the benefits that he have done unto me. I will receive the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows now in the presence of all his people. Right fear in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Behold, O Lord, how I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast broken my bonds in sunder. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord in the sight of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, even in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father and the Son, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the next psalm. O Lord, Thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts long before. Thou art about my path and about my bed, and spiest out all my ways. For lo, there is not a word in my tongue, but thou, O Lord, knowest it altogether. Thou hast fashioned me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful and excellent for me. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go then from thy spirit? Or whither shall I go then from thy presence? If I climb into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to hell, thou art there also. If I take the wings of the morning and remain in the uttermost part of the sea, even there also shall they ha thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say peradventure, the darkness shall cover me, then shall my, my night... Be turned to day, yea, the darkness, no darkness is with thee, but the night is all clear as the day. The darkness and light to thee are both alike. For my reins are thine. Thou hast covered me with my mother's womb. I will give thanks unto thee, for I am fearfully and wondrously made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My bones are hid from thee, though he made secretly and fashioned beneath in the earth. Thine eyes did seem my substance, yet being imperfect, and in thy book were all my members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was no, no one, not one of them. How dear are thy counsels unto me, O God! Oh, how great is the sum of them! If I tell them, they are none in number than the souls when I wake up and am present with thee. 
Wilt thou not slay the wicked, O God? Depart from me, ye bloodthirsty men, for they speak unrighteously against thee, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise against thee? Yea, I hate them right sore, even as though they were mine enemies. Try me, O God, and seek the, la the ground of mine heart. Prove me and examine my thoughts. Look well, if there be any wickedness in me, and lead me to the way everlasting. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And another psalm. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. Yea, as long as I have any being, I will praise unto my God. O put not your trust in princes, nor in any child of man, for there is no help in them. For when the breath of man goeth forth, he shall turn again. Blessed is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, and for whose hope is in the Lord his God which made heaven and earth and the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth his promise for ever, which helpeth them to right, that suffer wrong, which feedeth the hungry. The Lord looseth men out of prison. The Lord giveth sight to the blind, the Lord helpeth them that are fallen. The Lord careth for the righteous. The Lord careth for the strangers. He defendeth the fatherless and the widow. And for his ways, the ungodly, he turneth it down. The Lord thy God, O Zion, shall be king for evermore and throughout all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the final uh, lesson of readings is taken from the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For by man came death and by man came the resurrection of the dead. For as Adam, in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, the first is Christ. Then they that are Christ at his coming, then cometh the end, when he have delivered up the kingdom to God the Father, when he have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is expected, which did put all things under him. When all things are subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him that God may be all in all else. What do they which are baptized 
ever over the dead. The dead shall not rise at all. Why are they that are baptized over them? Yea, and they stand. We always then in jeopardy by our, your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I die daily, that I have thought with, with beasts at Ephesus, after the manner of men, what advantage it me, the dead rise not again. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. Be ye not deceived, evil words corrupt good manners. Awake truly out of sleep and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame, but some man will say, How rise the dead? With what body shall they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. And what sowest thou? Thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bare corn of wheat, or of some other. But God giveth it a body, and his pleasure to every need, his manner of flesh of men, another manner of flesh of beasts, another of fishes and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, and there are bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one manner of glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star differeth from incorruption. It riseth again in incorruption, but is sown in dishonor. It riseth again in honor, and is sown in weakness. It riseth again in power, and is sown a natural body. It riseth again a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body, as it is also written. The first Adam was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How be it, that is not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and then that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven, heavenly. As is the earthly, such they that are earthly, and as is the heavenly, such are they that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthly, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly. This I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit cor incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, and that in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, by the last trumpet, and the trump shall blow, and the dead shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must be put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. When this incorruption hath put on incorruption, and this mortal hath put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Death, where is thy sting? Tell, hell, where, where, it, 
Where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, my dear brethren, be ye steadfast and immovable, always rich in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know how your labour is not in vain in the Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no living creature shall be justified. From the gates of hell deliver their souls, O Lord. Believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O Lord, graciously hear that my prayer and let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. O Lord, with whom do live the spirits of them that be dead, and in from the souls of them that be elected, after they be delivered from the burden of the flesh, be in joy and felicity, Grant unto this thy servant, Don Holt, that the sins which he committed in this world be not imputed unto him, but that he, escaping the gates of hell and pains of eternal darkness, may ever dwell in the region of light with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the place where there is no weeping, sorrow, or heaviness. And when that dreadful day of the general resurrection shall come, take him to rise also with the just and righteous, and receive his body again to glory, then made pure and incorruptible. Set him on the right hand of thy servant, Jesus Christ among thy holy and elect, and then he may hear with them these most sweet and comfortable words. Come unto me, ye blessed of the Father. Possess the kingdom which have been prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer. Amen. And for those who have heard this and are interested in following other services, I do. I shall be back on Friday afternoon, 2 p.m. British time, when I shall be remembering my trip to the Diocese of Upper Shire, Malawi. And then next Sunday, the third Sunday in Lent, at 2 p.m. British time, I shall be doing Holy Communion, or if you prefer uh, the Mass. Uh, and next Tuesday, as the moment is next Tuesday at 11 p.m., I shall continue the Bible study in the book of Exodus, so Exodus chapter 3. And as I end this, uh, I remember uh, what Church and also Twistle Cricket Club meant to me. Right from being a young child, my mother's father, my grandfather, took, used to take me to the matches there. And I saw some of the very, some very famous cricketers. 
uh, at the at the matches. Seems a long time ago. But what's happened since? Well, I knew that I would always become a priest. The Church of England would not accept me many years ago. But God was in it. He wanted me instead to spend my time as a priest teaching other clergy which has so far taken me to to the Diocese of Ravuma in Tanzania of which I am one of the clergy. Uh, my church is uh, at St. Augustine Songia in that particular Ravuma Diocese along with the, some other clergy because it's quite a, a large church based in Songia. Father John, Father Emmanuel and Father Sinke. And I will return there and return to Malawi where when I can get there we'll be made a canon of that particular Peshire diocese and also to be made a canon of the diocese of Ravuma, Tanzania. And uh, it's so different out there uh, in that diocese and at St. Augustine's where the people are expectant. They will come out for healing and expect to be healed. And when they've laid hands on, on different ones, they have been healed. I should have died at more recent times. Uh, I was in hospital for a month to, uh, from the end of, of last year. The doctors basically had given me up. Uh, I should have died. I confounded the doctors. Uh, and I will continue to confound the doctors. Because um, I'd had a heart attack. I didn't even know I'd had one. I have six stents in me. But God is of work. And if you would like uh, to get in touch with me and anyone, whether they are connected with Church and also Swivel Cricket Club, or whether you're not, then at the end of, when I finish, finish uh, talking, I'm sure that it will tell you how to get in touch with me. Thank you. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, be with you now and always. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.